Welcome back everyone. Today I am finally getting around to something that I've been procrastinating just a little bit about something that I've wanted to do ever since I got my Super Trofeo Evo Honesty since day one. That is removing the wrap. Before we get around to that, remember that the giveaway is still going on for this 2017 Camaro Z01 Whipple Supercharged and Cammed. Remember, if you want a chance to win this car, you can go to drivenfast.com. Any purchase you make will automatically enter you for a chance to win this car. So today and tomorrow, every $5 you spend will get you five entries. So again, that's only today and tomorrow after the weekend is done. The 5X entries is done and it's back to normal again. So I'll have all of the details and the link to Driven Fast in the description down below. So I've never before <laughs> ever worked with a wrap. This is going to be my first time ever dealing with a wrap on the car, like I said. It seems pretty easy, just the concept of just removing the wrap. Although I know that some areas are probably going to be a little bit more annoying just because of the axis. I know that some parts are going to have to come off. But either way, I'm looking forward to it. You know, honestly, I really like it. I'm not against it. It feels very patriotic to me. It's just that i have another idea in my mind but this is the last time it's ever going to look like this this car is pretty much exposed carbon but not the entire car so actually let me just show you what i'm talking about so the car is pretty much just like that when i remove it it's pretty much just going to be exposed carbon for the exception of the doors the a pillars and the roof so that is still made out of aluminum so that gets me a little bit nervous because i don't know if that's going to be black silver or white i'm not sure what color and i don't know <laughs> once i remove everything if that's actually going to flow right with the exposed carbon i don't know if it's going to end up looking like a panda so i am just a little bit uh, i don't know how it's going to look after everything's off i hope it's not it doesn't stay like that for too long because i will be putting a custom wrap on my super trofeo evo i've been working with a designer i know that it takes takes some time so again hopefully it doesn't stay without a wrap for too long but again we'll see because I'm not gonna rush it I do have some ideas of how I want it to be but we're still working on that so we'll see but anyways let's go ahead and get started and just take this step by step I'm being just a little bit too gentle with the wrap when removing it just because I'm thinking in my mind I don't want it to rip but then I'm like you know what it rips I can always just go back to it but the front bumper is now completely off so far I only had to remove one thing which is the dive plane here it only had three screws right there so wasn't too bad so far I don't know about the rest of the car so like I said before I was being a little bit gentle but then I tried just this right fender here and I just kind of used a different method of just heating it up and then pulling it with the other hand that one worked a lot faster so I think that's what I'm gonna do for the rest of the car and then hopefully that'll go by a lot faster because in that I'm gonna be here all day <laughs> I'm not trying to do that so let's continue with the rest of the car with the entire front area of the car that hood was really annoying though it has so many angles and the wrap it was just one giant piece on there other than that everything else was pretty fine i just have to remove i just had to remove one dive plane here towards the bumper but that hood was really 
an unpleasant experience if I'm being honest. If I show it just like this, it almost looks like it's turning into the Batmobile, but then once I move out and you can see all that red, white, and blue, it's like, what's going on? But this is what I was referring to. So this hood right here, which you can see more of the angles now that it doesn't have the wrap, you can see it's very, very angled. So that was very hard because it was just one giant piece. I don't know much about wrapping this, my first time working with the wrap. And if it was annoying to remove it, I can only imagine that it would probably takes a lot more time and it's probably even more annoying to put on the wrap. But now we can continue with the rest of the car. So funny how it looks like this. I was going to start next on the doors, but I'm kind of tired of just leaning over after dealing with that hood. I think I'm just going to skip the doors for now, continue with the A pillars and then do the entire roof. And we are going to see what color that is and if it goes or if it clashes with the uh, exposed carbon. The roof is now done, the wrap has been removed, so good thing that the A-pillars and the entire roof is black for the exception of this escape patch, so it is exposed carbon, so that matches the rest of the car. So it doesn't look too funny right now with the black and the exposed carbon because it doesn't flow, but at least it's not that in your face. <laughs> But this area right here, the roof was honestly annoying as well, just because the white was just one giant piece of wrap, but it did have other layers on top of it with the red and the blue, and that just made it a lot thicker. I now see that when it's one giant piece, it makes it annoying, and when it's even thicker, that was even worse. I got excited that this was black and then the roof was black, and then I was like, let me see what the door is. Ah, oh, the door is unfortunately white. <laughs> So exactly what I thought. So this car is pretty much going to look like a panda. It's not going to be a good look, but I mean, it'll do for now. Meanwhile, my custom wrap gets designed and then it gets put on the car. So for now, I'm going to move on towards the door. I know that this is going to be a little thicker, this area, just because the blue is on top of the white. Now I do have to remove this side view mirror here just because it seems like they wrapped underneath here, but it doesn't look too bad. So I need to remove this entire carbon fiber panel. So all of these bolts here on the side and then there should be a bolt to remove this side of the mirror. So I have to do that for both cases and then I can remove just that little small area here with the wrap. I really hate to do all that, but I mean, it has to be done. So let's continue with the doors and then with the rest. I take it back, so removing that just to get here to the side view mirror was not as simple as I made it seem. I mean, it looked like it, but it wasn't. So first, had to remove all of those screws here from this panel, this carbon fiber panel. Then after that, I thought it would just be so simple to reach the bolts for the side view mirror. Nope. Then I had to remove this plexiglass, but that was being held up by these three brackets and they each had two bolts. So once I removed that, then I was able to reach this side view mirror, which had three more bolts. So at least it's done now. <laughs> install it again, but for now I'm going to continue with the car. Now I am going to skip these louvers right here just because the vinyl is tucked in and I honestly, Right now, I don't want to have to remove this entire quarter panel just to get to that, so I'm going to leave it on for now. When I do the video of just taking the Lamborghini apart and show you guys everything, I'll go ahead and get to that. So for now, let's go ahead and continue with the rear of the car, which is probably not gonna be the funnest, but we gotta do it.
So this entire process took a little bit longer than what I had originally anticipated. So you guys saw that this is the second day and exactly what I did. So I removed the wrap from the quarter panels from both ends here towards the rear and also the top of the bumper there. So now we are almost, almost done. The only thing that's left is this one part right here. But let me show you. The only thing left is to remove this wrap from the bonnet this is going to be a little challenging just because it is really thin if you guys can see that right there so it is pretty flimsy so what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove this off of the car just because i don't want to stress the carbon fiber it being so thin i don't want nothing to crack or anything to happen like that so i'm just gonna remove it it's very easy to remove with these four latches so there's two on this side two on the other side and then remove it very very carefully I have to say though, after removing the wrap from almost the entire car, I have to give props to whoever wrapped this just because this looks like it's very, very challenging, very difficult just to get into all these angles, into all these edges. And also props to whoever is going to wrap it next because I know just by doing this that this isn't easy. Finally finished with removing the entire wrap from the car, of course, except for those louvers with the American flag, but that'll be done sometime later. So let me just give you a quick walk around of how the car looks now. By the way, this is all of the wrap that came off of the car. It doesn't really look like much, but all of that is everything that came off. So first, of course, it looks like a Batmobile here from the front with just the exposed carbon. Then moving on to the side. Not my favorite here with the white doors because it just really, really clashes. <laughs> Not American flag is just standing out now, but of course I'll take care of that later. Then we have the black roof with the A pillars. Then moving on to the rear quarter panels again. The front and the rear are all exposed carbon. Then the middle is where it gets a little funny looking, but <laughs> here from the rear, again, it looks very nice. It's like wow in your face, but once we move here towards the side, mm, not really feeling it. So personally, I really think it's cool how it has the exposed carbon and you can really see that detail that you wouldn't be able to see when it had the wrap on, but I don't really like how it looks now. Even though the exposed carbon is cool, I prefer it with the wrap. I feel like with the wrap, you can see more of the angles, more of the detail of the car. Right now here, it kind of goes under the radar and I really like how with the wrap again, it gave it more of that race car feel and it was just a vivid color. So in the meantime, you will be seeing the car like this in videos. I will take care of the doors and the side view mirrors quickly. That is probably going to be one of the next things I do, but I do have other videos planned for it before it gets the custom wrap because again, I'm not sure exactly when that'll be ready, but what it does, of course, <laughs> you guys will know, but we are still going to take the car apart just so I can learn more about the car. I can show you guys everything about the car. It is getting wheels as well. So lots of exciting things happening in the meantime, but <laughs> I mean, I wish I just wish those doors and those mirrors were, were black at least. Again, props to any shops that put on wraps just because after doing this, I'm like, you know what? This is a lot of work. I can just imagine now putting on a wrap and that must be a lot, just that, that must be worse just because you really have to make sure that it goes on right, the angles, making sure it doesn't crease, making sure it doesn't have any bubbles. So again, props, <laughs> even though I enjoyed it, I don't think I would do it again. <laughs> Let me know, what do you guys think of how the Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofil looks now? Do you really like it? Do you not like it? I mean, what do you think the custom wrap is going to look like or the colors that it's going to be? That'll be pretty interesting to know what you guys think. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.